MyCase has introduced a new suite of document assembly and document automation tools. You can now create document templates, then merge those templates with information kept in MyCase, all in the click of one button. Let's face it, every law firm has documents that get used over and over. Now, you no longer have to waste time creating them by hand. Let's take a look at creating and merging document templates from Microsoft Word. In this example, we are going to use a motion to suppress document. In the past, when a new motion to suppress had to be drafted, someone would have to manually update all the information in this document. So you would open this document, uh, make sure that it was your name at the top of the document. You'd have to uh, populate the case name, the case number. You'd have to put in the client's name here. Um, so you can see that it can get pretty tedious pretty quickly. Well, here's our solution to that tedious problem. First, go ahead and open my case. You're going to click the documents tab and then make sure that you're on the templates filter. And now go over to here to the gear menu and click on download merge fields. Go ahead and save that document. And now if we open up that document, this is essentially going to present us with uh, every data field in the MyCase system. Um, so it's going to give us all of our contact fields, uh, company fields, case fields. Uh, essentially, it's going to be a list of every field, including the custom fields that you have created in your firm. So if we jump back to our motion to suppress document, uh, we can see here that we always put the client's name right here. So now let's go into the merge fields. We can see contact fields on the left and let's find their name, their full name. Let's highlight and then copy this field key. So now if we jump back into that motion to suppress document, let's just paste that key where we want the client's full name to appear. So what we're going to do now is repeat that process of copying and pasting those field keys for every piece of information that we'd like to keep in the system uh, for this document. So we can see that we have case name appears here. I can go back into the uh, field keys document, find case fields, copy the uh, case name, and then we'll paste that back into here. So I'm going to skip ahead here a little bit and open uh, a copy of this motion that already has the field keys in place. And you can see that we've replaced a lot of this information so far. So I've actually put in the firm name, the uh, firm address and contact phone numbers are going to be merged fields. Uh, the case name, the case number and the contacts name are all going to be merged fields in the system. So now that this document is ready, let's go ahead and save it. So we'll call this motion to suppress template to save that to the computer. And now we're good to move on to the next step. Back in my case, click the documents tab, then make sure that you are on templates. Then click the upload template button. First name the template. So we'll say motion to suppress template. You can drag and drop the template file that we just created. I'm going to skip over tags for right now, uh, but I will give the template a quick description. So we'll say standard motion to suppress template document. Finally, we can choose the firm users that we would like uh, to give access to this template. I'm going to choose all firm users because I want everybody at the firm to have access to this template. Then we can click on upload template to get it added to the system. Now let's take a look at creating new documents from the template we just uploaded. Click New Document, then choose Merge Template. You'll be presented with all of the document templates available to you in my case. Here, we can see the Motion to Suppress template that we just uploaded. 
when I select this template, my case is going to look at all the merge fields within it, and it has determined that there are case, contact, and firm user fields that need to be merged. So we can now choose which records we would like to merge this document with. So I'm going to choose the Hinkson matter. Let's choose Jamie Hinkson as the contact record. And I'm going to choose myself as the firm user record uh, that this document should be merged with. Go ahead and hit continue. And my case is going to build this document for us. So now I'm brought to the save merge document screen. But before I actually save the final version of this document, I can go ahead and hit preview document. And that will let me uh, save this document to my hard drive before I actually save it into my case. So now if I open up that downloaded preview, I can see here that it's put my name into the header, my firm information into the header, and it's merged the case name, the case number, and the contact's name correctly. So back in my case, we can link this uh, document to the particular case file. We can call it motion, motion to suppress Hinkson matter. Choose the clients and contacts we would like to share this document with. And then I can hit save and close or save and download if I need to save an additional copy of this document onto my hard drive. I hope you've enjoyed this quick overview video. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or need help getting started, please feel free to contact us. And until next time, this is Alex with MyCase, and it's been my pleasure to help you.